Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. In today's video, we will talk about AMD being too quiet about the current happenings in the graphics card world. But first of all, congratulations to my seven awesome subscribers for winning the limited edition Bird1 t-shirts on our previous short live stream. If you also won one of them and you missed out, make sure to purchase one of them on the bird1store.com soon. Haven't they been too quiet after the big release of the RTX series graphics cards from Nvidia? Maybe this is the best reaction from AMD to do, as it sounds like... Winter is coming. <laughs> and AMD is preparing to release a Dragon or something? To be honest, AMD's response seems to be right to me as their roadmap does make sense with many factors. Gamer Nexus recently showed that the Titan V was already hitting PCIe lane limitations as we currently are on PCIe 3.0. The transfer rate can only be a maximum of 32 gigabytes per second if we're using the full 16 lanes. Even if you would make a more powerful GPU, you would hit these limitations and see no extra increase. So in order to go beyond these possible limitations, AMD and Nvidia have to wait for PCIe 4.0 support on the motherboards. As IBM actually already has PCIe 4.0 in server boards, they were shown at Computex. They actually had it already on October 2017. So the problem was that the production cost and also some additional problems come with the use of PCIe 4.0. They require signal enhancers, there are more expensive parts that need to be used. Actually, they're getting so close to PCIe 5.0 support as it's very close to the same cost and problems as PCIe 4.0 that they're probably going to skip PCIe 4.0 on the boards. So now that AMD already has the first 7 nanometer Vega 20 chipset on their incredibly powerful Radeon Instinct graphics cards with 1.2 terabyte per second memory bandwidth even exceeding the tesla v100 with only 900 gigabytes per second so it does require the support of pcie 4.0 to transfer this massive performance and to actually use it so to give you an, a, a perspective of how powerful this graphics card is the radian instinct you could mine about 150 mega ashes per second on ethereum with this bad boy only drawing about 150 watts or less as it's 7 nanometers, it's pretty efficient. So this Radeon Instinct is the Tesla version and will soon be releasing as a gaming version as they show this on their roadmap. The Navy architecture that is actually the next generation after that will probably benefit from the PCIe 4.0 or the 5.0 as they were actually planning to skip PCIe 4.0 on the motherboards. Even though Gamer Meld also mentioned that there was a leak showing AMD working on the RX 700 series that could potentially be 10 or 15% better than the RX 500 series, compensating the previous generation of Nvidia's 10 series. But we all know this what, what means as miners. This means that there's going to be a RX 500 series with GDDR6 probably. And this will probably enhance the performance. So that will be very interesting for the mining part. But as of now, an employee also leaked that the 7 nanometer plus architecture name that was going to be called Arcturus. And Arcturus is the brightest star we can see in uh, actually from Earth. And I expect AMD to release a Threadripper type GPU with multiple cores on a single card. So that will be the bright star on their roadmap. So let me know what you think about AMD's silence in the comments below. Maybe the reaction to Nvidia from AMD is something like... You know nothing, Jon Snow. And they actually know what they're doing. I'm not sure, I, I'm not picking sides here because we soon have the blue team coming in too. But I hope you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one.